unusual turf battle, homeless shelter against homeless shelter, over feeding the homeless on a street flanked by shelters on both sides. Sounds odd, right? News 13's Nancy Laughlin's live downtown to explain what all the fuss is about. Well, Jess, this isn't just a turf battle. It's about three popular homeless shelters trying to deal with the issue of loitering outside those shelters. For years, Joy Junction workers and volunteers have been driving around Albuquerque, feeding people on the streets. That includes parking the Joy Junction truck in front of the Albuquerque Rescue Mission downtown, another place that also provides food and shelter for the homeless. But today, Joy Junction got word it needs to find another place to park its food trucks. Today, we had a security from a mission in downtown Albuquerque requesting that we not park outside the mission. Security with the rescue mission asked him to park his feeding truck down the street. It was just causing some congestion at our gates, and uh, we were just getting too many people on the sidewalks during the dinner time and also later into the evening. Reynolds tells us he asked another shelter, the Good Shepherd, which is right across the street from the rescue mission, if he could park the Joy Junction truck there. He says they told him no. His truck was causing people to loiter. No one from the Good Shepherd would talk to us, but there are signs on the building that say no loitering. And at the rescue mission, that is something now being enforced at night. It was a good place to feel safe and come and, and be around other people, but um, now we're also scattered. It was more of the issue of trying to protect the homeless people from people that were preying on them, also from uh, drug dealers, people in gangs, things like that. Okay, Palacio says at least once a week, the homeless who are sleeping outside those shelters are being victimized. So that is why the loitering has become an issue now. Jess, back to you. Okay, Nancy, one thing both shelter workers agree on, there are not enough beds for all the homeless people they serve.